In this week's Montana Made, MTN's Mackenzie Frost sits down with a couple who has a passion for a good cup of joe and decided to brew up their own coffee company. There's no place in the world that you don't either drink coffee or grow coffee. It's, and it's such a ritual, it's just such a part of people's lives. Coffee. It means a warm cup in the morning or maybe a meeting between old friends. And for Raina and Scott Bauma, coffee means business. After returning from Peru and tasting freshly grown, roasted, and served coffee. And I said to Scott, I want some more good coffee. He said, well, start roasting your own coffee. That was a year ago, and this Helena couple hasn't looked back. So we actually started with a tiny little popcorn maker that we bought at the Goodwill <laughs> store. After some taste tests, these two outgrew the popcorn maker and ordered a real roaster. In a few minutes, we'll, they'll visually change color quite obviously. The next task, a name. Their original ideas had already been taken. Went with Cafeic because we figured we could get that domain name. Cafeic acid, naturally found in coffee and as a former veterinarian and software engineer. We're both kind of science geeks, science nerds. So. <laughs> but it does describe us both, yeah. Cafeic coffee was born and now the roaster inside the garage gets put to work twice a week filling their online orders. As the beans continue to roast, you can smell the different variations. The African coffees tend to be more floral and fruity, a brighter acidity. The coffees from Sumatra, um, they have a very earthy, spicy taste to them, very low acidity. And while the beans go round and round, Raina keeps a close eye on the temperature as she doesn't let the beans roast too long. I think if the coffee is good and it's fresh and roasted a little lighter, you really get the taste of the coffee and then you don't need to add the sugar in. Cafe coffee brews up several different flavors and blends right now and eventually they'd like more. To grow this into a family business, we like to have our kids involved at some level and then you know maybe down the road have it as a full-time business for us. Mm -hmm. Because brewing good coffee is the ultimate goal, one cup at a time. Personally, I get really excited when people try my coffee and say, I can drink this without sugar, or I can drink this without sugar and cream. In Helena, Mackenzie Frost, MTN News.